today we will be looking at standard form or scientific notation. Standard form or scientific notation is just another way of rewriting very large or very small quantities in a simplified format. Please note, scientific notation is always made up of the product of a decimal number and a power of 10. Do you know what the mass of the earth is? Did you say the mass of the earth is 5 septillion 972 sextillion kilograms? Great job. But could we have said this another way? Yes, we could. We could have just simply said the mass of the earth is 5.972 times 10 to the 24th power kg. What about X-rays having a wavelength of 0 0.0000095 centimeters? I could just simply rewrite this as 9.5 times 10 to the negative 8 centimeters. Let us look at a few examples using standard form or scientific notation. But before we do that, please pay keen attention that when writing standard form, it must be written in the form A times 10 to the N, where A is a decimal number that is greater than one, but less than 10. And 10 to the N is the place value of the first counting number. Let us get into it and look at a few examples. Here we are asked to express 87.25 in standard form. You may pause the video at this time and attempt this question. Great job. Let us see if our answers are the same. So we know that A is a decimal number that is less than 10. That means my decimal point must be between eight and seven, which gives A is equal to 8.725. Now that we have identified A, let us find 10 to the N. But please note that 10 to the N is the place value of the first counting number. In this example, our first counting number is eight and eight is in the tens place. Therefore, 10 to the N is equal to 10. And in index form, 10 to the N is 10 to the first power. Now that we have found what A is and what 10 to the N is, we can write 87.25 in standard form, which would give us 8.725 times 10 to the first power. Did you get 8.725 times 10 to the first power for your answer? Absolutely amazing. Let us look at another example. In this example, you are asked to express 5,430 in standard form. You may pause the video and attempt the question at this time. You are doing a great job. Let us check to see if our answers are the same. 
So we know that A is a decimal number that is less than 10. That means my decimal point must be between, must be between 5 and 4. Therefore, A is equal to 5.43. Now that we have found A, let us find what 10 to the N is. Please recall that 10 to the N is a place value of the first counting number. And in this example, our first counting number is 5, and 5 is in the 1,000th place. We can rewrite 1,000 as 10 to the third power. Now that we know what 10 to the n is, and we know what a is, we can write 5,430 in standard form. So 5,430 is equal to 5.43 times 10 to the third power. Did you get this for your answer? Superb. Let us look at another example. In this example, we are asked to express 0 0.0056 in standard form. Go ahead, pause your video and attempt this question. You are fantastic. Let us see if our answers are the same. Please recall that A is a decimal number that is less than 10, which means my decimal point must be between 5 and 6. Therefore, A is 5.6. Now that we have now that we know what A is, can we find what 10 to the n is? Please recall that 10 to the n is a place value of the first counting number. In this example, our first counting number is 5, and 5 is in the 1,000th place. Which means 10 to the n in index form is 10 to the negative 3. Now that we know what a is and what 10 to the n is, we can write 0 0.0056 in standard form, which will give us 5.6 times 10 to the negative third. Did you get this for your answer? You are amazing. Let us look at another example. In this example, we are asked to express 0 0.365 in standard form. You may pause your video at this time and attempt this question. You are on fire. Let us check to see if our answers are the same. Let us recall once more that A is a decimal number that is less than 10. That means my decimal point must be between 3 and 6. So A is equal to 3.65. Now that we have found A, let us find 10 to the n. But we know that 10 to the n is the place value of the first counting number. In this example, our first counting number is 3, and 3 is in the 1 tenth place. 1 tenth in index form can be rewritten as 10 to the negative 1. Now that we know what A is and we know what 10 is, 
we can write 0 0.365 in standard form, which would give us 3.65 times 10 to the negative one. Did you get this for your answer? Great job. Let us look at one more example. So in this example, it says using a calculator or otherwise, calculate the exact value of the square root of 0 0.0256 divided by 25, and we are asked to express our answer in standard form. You may pause the video at this time and attempt this question. Great job. Let us see if our answers are the same. So, given a question like this, we have to do whatever is underneath the square root sign first. So, we are going to divide 0 0.0256 by 25. When we divide 0 0.0256 by 25, we are going to get 0 0.001024 at this point. Because we have a single value, then we can take the square root of this number, which gives 0 0.032. Now that we have found the exact value of the square root of 0 0.0256 divided by 25, the question now asks us to write this answer in standard form. So we are going to express 0 0.032 in standard form. Please recall, that A must be a decimal number that is less than 10, meaning that my decimal point must be between three and two. So in this case, A is 3.2. Now that we know what A is, please recall that 10 to the N is the first is a place value of the first counting number. And in this case, three is my first counting number. And three is in the 100th place. Now that I have found A and I found 10 to the N, I can rewrite this in standard form, which gives me 3.2 times 10 to the negative second power. Thank you guys for watching. See you in our next video.